All right, so we're here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're about to be visiting one of my favorite people in the world, my lovely grandmother. She just got vaccinated earlier this year and she's basically been cooped up in her house for the entire pandemic. I'm here with my dad and uh, yeah, life is good. I'm really excited to see her. It's been a really long time actually. Feels like we're slowly getting back to normal, guys. One step at a time. Hello. Hi. Where are you? We are almost there. Very close. Cool. All right, we're coming out. All right, we'll see you soon. There she is. Mm, it's so good. Oh, it is good. It is good. Me too. <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> I got carried away with my grandson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to let you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Miss Annabelle Lee. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, no. I was showing off my drone, and I got it stuck up there in the tree, right there. I'm gonna try to whack it with this really long stick. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Propellers look fine. It's fine. Look, 100%. Working hard getting all those light bulbs installed today. I'm getting fully upgraded LED lighting, and uh, and now we're gonna start a little fire. Have a nice chill cookout, hot dogs. It's Memorial Day. This is the first time I celebrated Memorial Day in like years. It's nice. Regardless of where you are, quarantine by yourself can be pretty hard. But I would have taken this any day over the cruise ship. I mean, seriously. Beautiful blue skies, birds, trees, incredible scenery. I love it here. I think one of the hardest things for me about this past year was just being forced to spend time away from the people that I care about. You know, one of my favorite people in the world, my lovely grandmother that lives here in beautiful North Carolina, she spent nearly 400 days in quarantine here at her house before she could get vaccinated and start to slowly reintegrate back into society. You know, I'm over here complaining about the month that we had to spend in quarantine just to get on the ship and start working, but Try a whole year, try more than a year. So now that finally my dad and I have been vaccinated, we've decided to fly down here to North Carolina to see my grandma, help around the house, do some last minute spring cleaning before summer starts, and most importantly, just spend some time together after those long months of social distancing and isolation. There were times during this past year when I had no idea when I was gonna see my friends and family again. Drifting around in a seemingly endless ocean, 
completely disconnected from the struggles and challenges of my surrounding world. That time and disconnection gives so much more value to moments like these that I can spend with my family. Even if it's something as simple as washing a car, walking the dog, or changing a light bulb. Being there, really being there for the people that you love, there's no substitute for that. So do something for someone you love this week. It can be big, it can be small, it doesn't matter what it is, just do something for somebody that you love because we didn't have nearly enough time to do that kind of stuff last year. I'll see you guys same place next time. I love you all. Join my Discord server, link in description as always. Subscribe if you want to, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.